Let's see how to configure codes and materials in Strubim Sipe 3 d For both configurations, we access the Structure tab at the bottom of the screen and select General Data in the Project menu. This menu is the same one we use when creating a new job. We configure codes by clicking on the Codes section, which opens the Code Selection window where we select the codes associated to concrete, cold formed steel, rolled steel, timber, and aluminium. By opening the drop down menu, we can select the code we wish to assign to each element. From the sections and reinforced concrete boxes, we are going to configure the materials to be used in our project. We define the steel type of the metal sections by using the rolled steel and cold form steel drop down menus. Only the steel types of the selected codes are displayed. We can also create a custom steel type from the steel user library for either rolled steel or cold form steel. We create it by writing a reference, allowing us to identify it and its yield strength, as well as within the data for the design of connections its fracture limit, and the correlation factor for fillet welds. We accept the window. Now we can select this new custom steel from the corresponding drop-down lists. For timber sections, by clicking on the type, the definition window will open. In the top part, we can change the material, resistance class, underneath we select the service class, and the duration of the loads introduced as live loads which can be different for each of these loads. In aluminium, we select the alloy and temper that will be applied to the aluminium elements. Lastly, we select the kind of concrete to select the type of concrete that will be used for the generic structural bars in our project. On the right, in the reinforced concrete section, we specify the concrete for columns, for floor slab beams, and for foundation elements. This material is applied to structural elements defined as columns or beams in the structure tab, and to the elements in the foundations tab such as footings, pile caps, and strap and tie beams. We establish the material for the different reinforcements of the elements mentioned in bar steel. We can also configure the aggregate properties for concrete, including its nature and maximum size. Below, we modify the cover of the reinforcements, measured from the perimeter of the concrete section to the surface of the bars, both for columns and beams, and foundation elements. Finally, we specify the percentage of fabrication losses for each type of element. These steel losses are considered in the measurements obtained automatically by the programme. 